Welcome to C Sharp Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see how to create HP.NET web service and how to consume it using Visual Studio 2010. Open Visual Studio. Go to File, New, then select Project. Select Web from Install Templates and then select ASP.NET Web Service Application. Write down a name. My first web service. Choose Location and then click on OK button. As soon as you click on OK button, Visual Studio uh, present your file where we can write our web letter. By default, Visual Studio provide you a Hello World letter, which returns a stream that is Hello World. For this, uh, uh, tutorial, uh, for this video, we are going to create another web method that is welcome message which will accept two parameters first name and last name and will return a string that is saying welcome to C sharp tutorial Now we have created a welcome message web method which accepts first name and last name and then we return a string that is saying welcome to C sharp tutorial. Now our web method is ready. Uh, let's see if it is returning correctly the message. Go to start debugging. Your web service will open in your default browser and as you can see there are two web methods are present hello world and welcome message click on welcome message welcome message has given no prompt for two parameters to enter first name and last name and click on invoke see the output that is Ashish Namdike will come to the station today close the browser and let's go back to our video studio now web service is ready now we need a client application to consume this web service. So go to Solution Explorer. 
right click on solution click on add and click on new project here we are we are, consuming, we are going to consume this page service in console application hence go to windows in install template select console application give this a meaningful name Select the location and click on OK button. As soon as we click on OK button, a program.js file will open where you can write your code to consume the web service. Go back to Solution Explorer. Now, the first step to, to consume any web service is to create a service vector for that web service. So, my first web service client is a consumer application. Right click on it, go to add service reference, and enter here the address of URL of your web service. As you can see here, our both projects are present in the same solutions. So we don't need to explicitly add the address of our web service. We can click on the score button and click on services and solution to get the web services available in this solution. As as soon as you click on services and solution, a web address is automatically filled in address field. Expand these services. And you can see there are two web methods are available. One over and welcome message. Give it a name for this web service namespace. And click on OK button. After adding service reference, we can see a uh, uh, the namespace of this service reference is added in the service references folder. We can we can access this web service using the service reference in our code. Now it's time to write a code to consume the web service. To consume the web service, we first we need the object of the client. This is your service reference which we have created while, uh, while adding the service references in the particular application.
This is the simple code by which you can create the object of a client which refers to the web service and using that client object you can call any web method. Now consumer application is ready. Go back to solution explorer, click on your consumer application, right click and then make it as set as startup project now click on start debugging as you can see the output of the console application is the welcome message that is we have entered in web services the two three parameters will pass through the, through the client application please visit c tutorial.in for 